about the healthy people. He wasn't talking about the people that have jobs with, with great esteem and people, you know, cowering down to them. He was talking about the people that didn't have any of those things. He was referring to the ones that were very poor and begging on the side of the road. He was referring to the ones that were sick or lame or blind or, or couldn't hear. Those are the ones he was talking about. These people had no status at all in those communities. Jesus knows how you and I work. And he's trying to tell us in these scriptures that the kingdom of God that we are part of in this world that we live in is not the same as the kingdom of God in heaven. Jesus was trying to teach us that the people that are under, undervalued in his time and in our time are worth more and that those are the people that Jesus was willing to die for. Have you ever noticed that we get medical results now and some of our lab tests can be sent directly to our phones in just a matter of a day or two. Remember when we used to get lab results and you had to wait for a week or two to reschedule your appointment and just kind of the whole time wondering, you know, is this good news, bad news, whatever? Well, now when I get them, and I'm getting old enough to get them a lot, you know, I can just look at the phone app and say, well, there's my cholesterol, there's my, you know, this is my blood count, this is this and this is that. And it, it comes to us immediately. And I notice that when it comes to us, a lot of times there'll be a little graph on that phone app and green is good. So if your numbers are in the green zone, you're like, Whew, all right, dodge that one. If it's in the yellow zone, it's like, hmm, I better keep an eye on this because it's kind of, you know, it's something to pay attention to. If it's in the red zone, well, you know, you're going to be either hearing from the doctor right away or you'll be calling in for an appointment right away because it's serious little green, yellow, and red. So that app, you know, is, is important to us. And that's the way I kind of see these Beatitudes that I just had the honor of reading. That those Beatitudes, if we read them and pay attention to what they're saying, we can gauge them to our spiritual life. I mean, if you think the Beatitudes are telling you that you've done everything right, then you feel like you're safely in the green zone. You know, you know, you're not poor, you're rich, you know, you're healthy, all these things. So if you're in the green zone, well, you don't really need God, do you? Why do you need God? You're in the green zone. These Beatitudes are telling you everything's wonderful, but that's not what they're really telling you. And if you're in the yellow zone, once again, just like your medical, you need to be paying attention to your spiritual life. Maybe you're not going to um, confession as you should. Maybe you're not attending as many masses as you should. Maybe you receive the Holy Communion in an impure manner and, you, and your soul's not ready to take in the body of Christ. And these are warnings to us that we could be doing better with our spiritual life. And if, they, um, if they're read, well, you can figure out the rest of this one. If your spiritual life is in the red zone, and for us that do our share of funerals all the time, we all have expiration dates on us. We just don't know when that date's gonna come up. So you need to do, just like you would call your doctor, you need to get on your knees and talk to God and figure out what you need to be doing right to get out of that red zone. So let me ask you this. Do you find that God in your life, um, when everything is going right, do you need God? Of course you don't. You don't feel like you need God because everything's going really well. But when you're feeling weak and when you're struggling with things and this life is going wrong, that's the time you seem to need God the most. And there's a reason for that. That's, that's God reaching out and telling you, hey, I haven't heard from you in a while and you need to do the right thing. So Jesus knows that we tend not to look to God with much urgency when we are not having any challenges in our life. You think of people that are, are living, have a great job, have a great home, everything's fine. Those are the people I've seen dropping off and don't attending mass very often. But these Beatitudes that I just read, they weren't created to hang on a wall or be on the back of a prayer card just so we could feel good about ourselves. 
but for us to be aware in our own lives where we need God the most. Blessed are those that invite God into bless you where you least think you need it. 